All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the premiere of Family Feud here on Game Show Night on Front for Freedom. We have two teams ready to battle out to, to see if they can win as much as 20,000 rupees. Our first team is the Cool Kids, TV for Good, TC Gamer, and Airing On. Ready for action. Playing against the Gotta Go Fast team, Gen Gaming, yeah. Marmite, and Pop-Tart Gamer. On your marks, Ooh. let's start the Family Feud. You literally sound like the old Family Feud guy. <laughs> well, thank you, you said very much. Feud. So here's how this is going to work. I have put the game on pause for a moment so I can explain how this is going to work. Each team is going to start with a bank of 5,000 rupees. And you can add money to your bank by answering up to five questions in the bullseye round. Now, during the bullseye round, what we're looking for in each survey is number one answers. If you get the question right, then you will add the money to your bank. The first question is for 1,000, the second question is worth 2,000, etc., all the way up to 5,000 rupees. So if you get all the questions right, you would have 20,000 rupees in your bank. And that would be the money, amount of money that you would play for if you make it to Fast Money. So, TB okay, for good and Gen Gaming, this question is going to be for okay. you two only. So, here we go. Okay. I was, I was going to ask about the order of the yep. families. Yep, I have, feel bad for TB. Yep, I have the, I have the order um, right uh -huh. here. So, TB for good and Gen Gaming, you have the first question. And here is the question. Here we go. Name a card game played by kids. Gen Gaming, you got in first. What's the answer? Go fish. Go fish. All right. Is go fish the bullseye answer? Bullseye! You got it. 1,000 rupees added to your bank. That means it's 6,000 rupees now for your team. And now we go to the next set awesome. of contestants. TC Gamer and Marmike, it's your turn. This question is worth 2,000 rupees, and here it is. Which world country do you think is last alphabetically? It's TC Gamer Marmike. Marmike, what's your answer? Which world country do you think is last alphabetical? Uh, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe, all right. All right. Is Zimbabwe the bullseye answer? Yes, it is! Bullseye! 2,000 rupees added to your bank. Well done. So you're up to 7,000 rupees. Gifting my geography rupees. skills are good. <laughs> you're up to 8,000 rupees. You've gotten the first two questions right so far. So, airing on and Pop-Tart Gamer, it is now your turn. This Come on, Pop-Tart. I feel this fresh. Qu this question is worth 3,000 rupees, and here it is. Name an occupation in which people get lots of mail. Pop Tart Gamer, you got in first. What do you think? Uh... <laughs> An occupation which people get lots of mail. I don't know. Tech support. <laughs> Alright, let's find out. You say, oh, tech support. Yes. Okay, tech support. I really. I was about to. I almost, I almost put tax support. Tech support, though. Okay. Is tech support the three thousand dollar bullseye? No, it's not. It is not the number one answer. I figured. So I that know. means airing on. You now have a shot at it. Name an occupation in which people get lots of mail. This is for three thousand. I'll go for a postal worker. Postal worker. For a mail I didn't delivery man. I think that. <laughs> I know. Bob Whichever. Bird, seriously. Takes. Yep. Now, just so you know, if you don't get the answer, it does not tell you what the answer is, so we'll never know if neither one of you get it right. So you're going to say mailman? Yep. Okay. Is mailman the bullseye answer? 
Uh, no, it's not. I'm sorry. So neither player got that one right. We will move on to the next question. TV for good see, man, man. and Gen Gaming. It's you guys. Here's the 4,000 rupee question, and here it comes. Name something you eat by the slice. TV for good is in. What do you think? Pizza. What is. Kind of crap all right. Is pizza the $4,000 bullseye? No, it's not. It is not what? pizza. Wow. I'm surprised by my at that myself. All right, Gen Gaming, you have a chance at it. Name something you eat by the um, slice. Cheese? Cheese? All right. Good answer. Good answer. Is cheese the bullseye answer? No, it's not. Neither one of you got it right, so we go on to the last one. TC Gamer and Marmite. Here it comes. This is the 5,000 rupee bullseye question. Here it is. Name a state where you'd expect to find cactus. Marmite got in first. What is it? Arizona. Arizona. All right. This is for 5,000 rupees for you. Is Arizona the bullseye answer? Bullseye! 5,000 rupees added to your bank. Oh, damn. All right. So the cool Ooh. kids, you'll be playing for 5,000 rupees if you win the game. And gotta go fast, you're going to be playing for 13,000 rupees if you win the game. All right, so now we're about to get started with the actual Family Feud game. So we're going to go with the next guys who are on the list. So Erring On and Pop-Tart Gamer, you're going to be in the face-off. It takes 300 points to win the game. And I say now it's time to play the Feud! Nice. All right, Erring On. That sounded just like him. Good luck to the both of you, Erring On and Pop-Tart Gamer. Here we go. We asked 100 and people. Hello, autistic mind. We asked 100 hey, people this question, and we have the top 10 answers on the board. Airing on and Pop Tart Gamer, try and find the most popular answer. Here's the question: Name a room or area of your home that's overflowing with junk. Pop Tart Gamer. Uh, the basement. Basement. All right. That sounds like a good answer to me. Show me basement! Number five. Twelve people said it. Yes. The cool kids and Erring on, you have a chance to you have a chance to earn control if you can give me a higher answer than that. Name a room or area of your home that's overflowing with junk. I'm gonna go with the garage. Garage, alright. That's a good answer, I think. How about garage? Number one answer! Of course. All right. Of course. All right, airing on in the cool kids, would you like to play or pass? I think we're going to play. All right, they're going to play. So, right, they're gonna play. Team, team got to go fast. Think of a steal. TV for good. It's your turn. Name a room or area of your home that's overflowing with junk. Let's go with closet. Closet. Ooh, that's a good answer. All right. Show me closet. Number three. Good job. Fifteen people said it. There's 43 points in the bank. TC Gamer, we go to you. Name a room or area of your home that's overflowing with junk. Garden. Garden. All right. Let's see if it made our survey. Show me garden. Yes, it's there. They that. By the way, that includes the family room. <laughs> okay then. Interesting judging. I know. <laughs> Old school gaming at its finest. Airing on. It's your turn. Name a room or area of your home that's overflowing with junk. I think I'm going to go. have to go with the attic. Attic. 
I don't have one myself, but from what I've seen in movies and stuff, I would think that'd be pretty messy. Let's see if it's up there. I think it's a good answer. Attic! Yes, number eight. 57 people said it, or 57, pe 57 points in the bank. Three people said it. We go back to you, TB for good. Here's the question. Name a room or area of your home that's overflowing with junk. Let's go with the kitchen. Kitchen. All right. Show me the kitchen. Number four. All right. 13 people said it. We're up to 70 points. TC Gamer, back to you. Name a room or area of your home that's overflowing with junk. We're going to go with, we call it the living room, which is like your TV room, like family TV room. Okay, living room. All right, 100 people survey. Did anybody say living room? Yes, number seven. All right, there's only three answers left on the board, and Aragon, it's your turn. Name a room or area of your home that's overflowing with junk. I'm going to have to go with the washing room, like oh. where you'd wash your clothes and whatnot. All right, that sounds All right. good. Well, that's Laundry room. All right, we're still looking for that number two answer. Show me laundry room. Oh, not there. I'm sorry. That is your first strike. Two more strikes, and the Gotta Go Fast team will have a chance to steal. TV for good, we go back to you. Name a room or area of your home that's overflowing with junk. Let's go with the bedroom. Ooh. That was what I was thinking of the still question. I've seen a lot of bedrooms in my days, including my own, and they can get messy at times. I think that's a great answer. It might even be number two. Show me bedroom number two. All right. 89 points, and there's only two answers left. It's the number nine and number ten answers. This is where it gets tough. TC Gamer, name a room or area of your home that's overflowing with junk. I'm going to probably say the hallway, like the front door, like that part. All right. Hallway. Let's see if it's up there. TC Gamer says hallway. No, I'm sorry. Strike two. Got to go fast. Get ready to steal. Aragon, it's your turn. You got to get this right to stay alive here. Name a room or area of your home that's overflowing with junk. I'll have to go with the bathroom. Bathroom. All right, if it's there, you're still alive. If not, third strike and got to go fast. We'll have a chance to steal. Show me the bathroom. No, it's not there. Okay, got to go fast. You now have a chance to steal, so talk it over with you. Talk it, up, talk it over, and uh, Gen Gaming, uh, you are the captain designated, so to speak, so I will accept the answer from okay. you. Name a room okay. or area of your home that's overflowing with junk. All right, the first thing that came to my mind was like a shed, because sheds like have a lot of stuff. Do you guys think that it would, like might be shed? I I think shed's good answer. Go for it, go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, my answer is well, our answer is shed. All right, shed. If it's there, you get the 89 points plus whatever point value is behind the answer. But if it's not there, we're gonna give it to the cool kids. Show me. For the steal, shed. Not there. Really? The other two answers. Number nine was the back porch. And number ten what? was the dining room. Dining room? Yes. <laughs> Who has a hey dining room? Whoa, I don't have a dining room, but... I have a dining room, but I wouldn't say it was overflowing with junk because I have to, like, eat there. All right. Cool kids are on the board. You have 89 points. You gotta go fast. You're not on the board yet, but there's still time left. And now we go on to the next face-off. TV for good and Gen Gaming. We need you. Okay. Cool. All right. The point values are now doubled. The top five answers are on the board. Name someone around whom you won't curse. 
Gen Gaming. Parents. All right. Let me see. Parents. Number one answer. All right, got to go fast. You have control. Would you like to play or pass? Play. Play. All right. Think of a steal, the cool kids. Marmike, we go to you. Name someone around whom you won't curse. I'm going to say the teacher. Teacher. Good answer. It'll probably get you detention if you said a curse word in front of them. Let's see if it's up there. Show me teacher. No. Whoa. Really? What? Oh, I don't believe it what? either. Wow. Teacher is not. What kind of set? <laughs> I have no what, idea. What kind of school is this? Uh, <laughs> okay, then. Um, a night school? What I kind of <laughs> schools do you have in America that allow cursing? I have no idea. <laughs> the teachers should get fired. All right. Oh, my God. I reckon, I reckon your survey's rigged. That's, that's bull crap. I'm I, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that is bull crap. All right. Pop-Tart Gamer, it's your turn. Name someone around whom you won't curse. Uh... Grandparents? Grandparents? Yeah. Okay. All right. 100 people survey. Did anybody say grandparents? No. Strike two. All right. Think of a steal, the cool kids. You got a chance. There's four answers left. Gen Gaming, back because to you. Because old people swear like sailors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gen Gaming, name someone around whom you okay. won't curse. Little kids. All right, little kids. Or just like kids. All right. All right, if it's there, all right. If not, third strike. Kids! Yes! Number three. Good job. Five people said it. There's 100 points in the bank. Marmike, we go to you. Name someone around whom you won't curse. I'm going to say... Vicar or Reverend. All right. All right. Show me Reverend. Yes, clergyman. All clergymen. <laughs> 43 people say it. That was the number two answer, Marmite. Good job. Oh, yes. So we have two. I wouldn't know that because I don't go to church. All right, there's two answers left on the board and 186 points in the bank. Pop-Tart Gamer, name someone around whom you won't curse. Uh. Oh, man. Take a guess, Pop-Tart Gamer. Uh, your boss. Boss. All right. I think that's a good answer. I wouldn't want to get fired by swearing at my boss. All right, again, if it's there, you stay alive. If not, we go to the cool kids for the steal. Show me your boss. Yes, number five. All right. One more answer, and you've gotten all the points out of the bank. Gen Gaming, here we go. Name someone, okay. name someone around whom you won't curse. Okay, um... Hmm. Little brother, or like, like siblings. Siblings. All right. All right. If it's there, you've got a clean sweep. Got to go fast. But if not, we go to the cool kids for a chance to steal. Show me siblings. No, not there. Okay, cool kids. TB, TC Gamer, and Airing on. Think of the steal and TB for good. I'll call for you for the answer. Name someone around whom you won't curse. I was thinking wife, TB. Wife? Uh... <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> what? They're going to have friendly arguments. Sorry. Yeah, um... I'm not sure. It's a hard one. Yeah. <laughs> Pop-Tart stole my trump card there with boss. Alright, um, what do you think? I say Obama. Good? <laughs> um, all right, TV for good. I'm gonna. I, I, I'm not all right, too sure. All right, TV for good. I'm gonna call for your answer. Name name someone around whom you won't curse. Let's say. Oh, I have no idea. Take a guess. 
Um, doctor. Doctor. <laughs> okay. TB says doctor. If it's there, you've got the points. If not, we give it to the gotta go fast team. Show me a doctor. No. Gotta go fast. You get the points. <laughs> Yay. Well, remember. Yay. Well, remember the ruling on uh, grandparents and how fam gardeners yeah. accept the family feud. They wanted grandmother. Which what? Is, isn't that what? Rid that is ridiculous. I agree. That is absolutely ridiculous. Are you kidding me? Well, no matter. I mean, uh, we would have gotten the points anyway, but still. Yeah. I was thinking so, of making you, you type out family that, that's and hope it caused yeah. that. Swearing a grandmother, that's yeah. a big no-no. But swear with your, right. your granddad, that, yeah. he wouldn't mind. Cool kids, 89 points. Gotta go fast, you have 190 points. And we go to the final face-off, maybe. TC Gamer, Marmite, time for the face-off. A, a point value is now tripled, and the top four answers are on the board. Here's the question. Name a game children play. TC Gamer, your answer. Damn, I misspelled it. That's okay. T TC Gamer, what do you think? Name a children's game. We're going to go for a simple one of Snakes and Ladders. Snakes and Ladders. That was one. Z out. All right, let's find out if you're right. Snakes and ladders. No, it's not there. All right, Marmike, you could take control with any answer on the board. Name a game children play. I'm going to go with what I think is the obvious one, hide and seek. That sounds like a good answer to me. Let's see if it's there. All right, show me hide and seek. Number one answer. Yes. All Damn right. right it is. Marmike, you want to play or pass? We'll play. All right, play. Yeah. All right, either team can win here. Name a game children play, Pop Tart Gamer. Um, tag. Tag. Ooh, that's a good answer. Tag. All right, show me tag. Yes, number two. There's 195 Ooh. points in the bank. And now we go to you, Gen Gaming. Name a game children play. Uh, rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay. My sister asked me to play it all the time, so that's why I say that. I played that game a lot. I was not very good at it. <laughs> My luck's pretty it's game darn of bad. War. It is a game of war, and it's a game of reading into your opponents. All right, show me rock, paper, scissors. Not there. Strike one. Okay. It's kind of it was kind of specific. I kind of okay. could tell I wouldn't be there. All right, Mike, we go to you. Name a game children play. Duck, duck, goose. Duck, duck, goose. Didn't play that one very much, and again, I wasn't very good at it either. <laughs> I don't know if it's a party game or if naturally children just play it all the time. Right, so. <laughs> okay. Show me Duck, Duck, Goose. No, strike two. Think of a steal, the cool kids. You have a chance to maybe win the game. Pop Tart Gamer, it's all up to you. Name a game um, children play. Tic Tac Toe. Tic Tac Toe. Alright, if it's there, you're still alive, but if not, the cool kids will have a chance to steal and win the game. Show me tic-tac-toe! Not there! Strike three! Cool kids, you have a chance to steal and maybe win the game. Alright, there's 195 points in the bank. If you give me a right answer, we add the point value to the, to the bank times three, and it may be enough to put you over the top. Guys, name a game children play. I, I was, I was thinking, 
Video games. <laughs> nah, this is this, like this games you play in the, the park. park. Plus, so maybe maybe catch or something, something. or uh, can. can. I was thinking. I was well, thinking well, hopscotch well. is a solid answer. All right. Wait, what? I'm now gonna call for your answer, TB, for good. <laughs> it's name, a a, name a game. <laughs> Children play. If you get this right, you win the game. But if not, they gotta go fast, team. They'll win the game. I, I'm gonna stick with my gut and go with hopscotch. All right. Hopscotch. <laughs> Alright, for the game, show me Hopscotch! Yes, it's there! You've won the game! Dang it! <laughs> and the number four... The, one's gonna be patty cake. the number four answer was Ring Around the Rosie. Oh. Oh, oh yes! The cool kids, oh. you win the game, you get to play Fast Money! Yeah, I was thinking like Go something to play on the elementary school like yep. playground. Yep. And Everybody was guessing board I was thinking games. Like, yeah. I was thinking like jump rope or four square. Or... Like, all right, so I need two people for fast money for the, the cool kids. Who's gonna play? Um, who wants to sit out? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't mind sitting out. Okay, right, right, I guess it'll be you and me, TV. All right, who's but, gonna go first? Oh, can't hear my first. answers, can he? It's fine. I mean, it's... they're gonna see, okay. you're, you're gonna see it on the stream, so if they hear it, it's fine. They hear it, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll go first, T I guess. T TV's gonna go first? I can pause and mute the stream, or, okay. or deafen myself if you really want. Okay, so whatever you want to do, it's fine. So TV for good, you're gonna go first? Yeah. Alright, here's how the fast money's gonna work. I'm gonna give you five questions, and you're, you're gonna have a total of one minute and 40 seconds to give me all the answers. Now, if you can't think of okay. an answer, just say pass, and we'll come back to it if there's time on the clock. And if you and Erringon pick up 200 or more points, you will win your bank, which is 5,000 rupees. So, good luck to you. Here's the first question. Name the best TV night of the week. Let's go Friday. Friday. Name a meal you eat while watching TV. Um, pass. All right, we'll go on to the next question. Name an article of clothing that teenagers outgrow quickly. They grow out of? Yep. An article of clothing that teenagers of... outgrow quickly. Shoes. Shoes. Name a brand of canned goods. Uh, Campbell's. That's a good answer. God damn it, TV. That's a tough question, too. Name a food that's easy to burn. A food? A food that's easy to burn, yes. Toast. Alright. Alright, back to the other question. Name a meal you burn eat. Toast. Name a meal you eat while watching TV. Um, a meal you eat. 15 seconds. Let's go with pizza. Okay. Here we go. First, all right, let's see how you did. Name a day of the week with the best TV watching. You said... Survey says... Friday. Our survey said... 11. The next question. Name a meal you eat at the TV. You said pizza. Our survey said zero. Ooh. Next question. Name an article of clothing kids outgrow. You say shoes. Survey said 36. Next question. Name a brand of canned goods. You said Campbell's. Survey said 16. And the last question. Survey said. Name a food that's easy to burn. You said toast. Survey said. Number one answer. Number one answer. 23. You got 86 points. Nice. Okay. Right, so. 
86 points, so erring on, you're going to need 114 points in order to win the 5,000 rupees. So I'm going to ask you the same five questions. And remember that you cannot duplicate any answers that TB for good gave. So ready to go, erring on? Yep, I'm ready to go. All right, two minutes on the clock, and good luck to you. Name the best TV night of the week. Uh, Saturday. All right. Name a meal you eat while watching TV. A uh, lunch. No, uh, okay, lunch, sure. Okay, okay. Name an article of clothing that teenagers outgrow quickly. A shirt. Shirt. Name a brand of canned goods. Amples and like the soup company. Try again. That's already been said. Um. Remember, you can pass if Jeff you're Boyard. Jeff Boyardee? That's a good one. Sure. Name a food that's easy to burn. Bread. Toast. Try again. Pancakes. Pancakes? All right. All right, let's find out how you did. Survey says? We asked you, name a night of the week for the best TV watching. You said Saturday. Survey said? 10. Survey says? Then we asked you, name a meal that you watch, that you watch TV with. You said lunch. Survey said? 27. I think that's what they're oh, looking God. for, a, a meal, yeah. as opposed like, to dinner, yeah. lunch, or breakfast. Yeah, yeah. good answer. So. Yeah, I was, I was going to change to breakfast for a minute, but right. whatever. Right. I would have said dinner. Next question. Name an article of clothing teenagers outgrow. You said shirt. Survey said zero. Oh. Oh. Well, I was trying to avoid pants because I figured TB would have said it. But... I said shoes. <laughs> oh, crap. Yep. I just realized you could have said shoes too. Name name a brand of canned goods. Food. It, you said Chef Boyardee. Survey said zero. Yep. Oh man. And the last I was trying one, really hard to think of one from the eighties. I'll tell you these were these were some tough questions. I must admit. Name a food that's easy to burn. The number one answer, TV for good game. It was toast. You said pancakes. Now, 77 people said it, and the number one answer yeah, already has it. 23. <laughs> what I'm trying to tell you is you're not going to get the 5,000. Let's see Let's see if we got any points on this. You said pancakes. Our survey said zero. Oh. Yay. <laughs> 120, All zeros. 123 points. $5 a point, or 5 rupees a point, a total of 615 rupees. All right, you are the returning champions. You'll get to play in our next show, and maybe we might have a rematch. We'll get set up for the second and final game of Family Feud right after this, so don't go away.